Okay, good morning. Welcome back. I am still using the Light Sears Tarot. I don't know why, but for some reason I'm drawn to it again. So this one's for Tuesday, April 16th. What is it that you guys need to know? Looks like I have two cards right here coming up. Okay, Four of Cups and our Earth Mother, the Empress. So Earth Mother and also uh, Absolute Mother <gasps> that turns the world. <laughs> it turns your wheel of fortune. Okay, so we have a very simple message here. And it is to let go of anything that might be distracting you in order to get in touch with what matters to you most in your creative core. What is it that you need to conceive of in order to turn the world for you, in order to turn your wheel of fortune? Do you dare take a risk to trust your creative instincts to get inside of your own beauty, your own nature, your true abundance that's only inside of you and it's so fertile and it's so full of life, giving life. And, and, and that is the wheel that turns your world. And so to focus on anything else is just a waste of time. And to be apathetic and think, and, and I allowed for reversals and we have none today. Uh, and, and to think, uh, actually we didn't have any yesterday either. I, and to think that there's anything more important than getting in touch with your, your feelings inside um, and healing whatever emotional material there could be. That's, that's always the way for, to bring in new creation. We want to let go of the old emotional baggage, the old emotional reactions, uh, the, old, um, the old ways of not caring, apathy, basically. We have to let go of apathy and get into our creative flow. And that turns our world. That keeps our wheel turning. That keeps our, our karma fresh and, and positive. And that's how we create positive reality. The Wheel of Fortune is all about life cycles. The Empress is all about life cycles, but creating life cycles for yourself. The Wheel of Fortune is about our destiny, but we create our own destiny. The Wheel of Fortune is about a turning point, but we can create those turning points. And we can never be apathetic about our power. So Four of Cups is all about meditation this morning as to our creative power and what we want to bring into our lives. And maybe something comes through in dream time about your mom that helps you, right, be on top of your world. Maybe something comes through from one of your guides or all of your guides or spirit team in, in dream time. And you wake up going, oh, I, I know which way to go. I, I have to, I, I have to really have to look down here and take this. Something's being offered. <laughs> okay. Thanks, you guys. Take good care.